Hello? Hello? Is this make working? Just need to test the audio. Come on. Just need to quickly check the audio. Is this working? Check the audio. Okay, yep, it's yep, it's working. Right. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my playthrough of Legendary Edition Mass Effect, or Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I don't know what's happened to my ability to talk. Did I just say fucking stalk? Talk? You may be wondering what's happened to my ability to talk. Or a question that I've had one in general. Anyway, I've done the last two side quests on Chachonka and the Citadel. All that's left is the Normandy crash site, and then we will start Mass Effect 3, where the Reapers will arrive. I decided to leave the Normandy crash site for last, because, you know, it's kind of... Sim not symbolic, but... Sentimental? Meh? I just absorbed significant weight to it, I suppose. But, you know... You don't need me to tell you that, let's just quickly do this. It won't take more than like 10 minutes at most, I think. You just run around ex collecting shit. There we go. Okay. There is about 20 pieces that you need to find to complete this. Yeah, see. Uh, I know pretty much where all of them are. Good rule of thumb, if there's a box, shoot it and then they will find the one. And there's also like little, like, just look at that and it'll like, have a flashback to your old memories and all that. There wasn't really much use out of this room in the original Mass Effect. It was just sort of there. It's... Shut up. You can place a monument, and I think you have different choices where to put it, but I'll figure that out after I get everything. Let's see. Yeah, this, this place is what? It's not stuck on it, is it? Should trigger a flashback here. I'm just gonna use a pistol. I think the heavy pistol should... There you go. Oh, I remember this thing. It was a mishandly son of a bitch, but I love it. To be honest, everyone would crap on the original Mako in the game, but like I didn't have too much trouble. The biggest problem is when you try to go uphill, which actually, yeah, now I'm coming to think about it, you do that a lot, especially if you like do all the side quests. 
So, okay, never mind me. I'm talking a lot of shit. Like usual. Oh, yeah, you do have different places. What's that? There it is. Oh, Joker. You are so young. I will remember the days of asking about your disease and worrying about catching it to my legs. <sighs> Thank God it's not contagious. <laughs> we shepherd like hobbling about, that would not be. That would not be. That would never defeat the Reapers. No offense, Joker. That actually reminds me of a show that I've currently started watching that my brother's put me on. To It's called Code 404, where like a police officer dies in London. And he's brought back to life the same way Shepherd is, like cybernetics, augmentation, stuff like that. But whereas he was the best, whereas Shepherd was the best soldier, and they just brought him back to life as normal. The guy in the show is the best police detective in like the whole force. But when he's brought back to life, he turns into a fucking idiot. <laughs> like <laughs> he met. <laughs> He messes up crime scenes, he, he killed an old woman by shouting at her in one episode. It's really fucking funny, it's called Code 404, I'd highly recommend checking it out. He cuts off a crime, like a, a victim's foot, like they have in evidence, because he's trying to help his partner move up his career, like... Obviously, he can't do that because <laughs> it's a crime scene evidence. So, <laughs> it's really funny. I highly recommend it. I think this is a good place to take the monument. Unrecoverable data. Data recovered. Spoke to commander about this. Corrupt. All these damn aliens aboard the Alliance's most advanced ship. I don't trust them. Especially uh, unrecoverable data. That damn Asari in a quarry? What does Shepard think this is? A zoo? Fuck me, Presley. Unrecoverable data. <laughs> data recovered. With the quarry, and it seems like she's on some kind of pilgrimage, trying to improve the lot of her home ship. I can understand that. I would unrecoverable data babysit my children or something. But if she has to be on board, I suppose it's not too bad. Unrecoverable data <laughs> data recovered for a while now, and I'm taking a look at the past entries in this journal. I unrecoverable data how blind I was at the time. I came onto the ship firmly believed that humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Corrupt. Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I am proud to say, crap, die for any member of this group, regardless of what, what world they were born on. Aw, oh, Presley. You can't see it, but I'm saluting him. Good man. I'm glad to see he changed his ways. Came not racist. I don't think this DLC gets mentioned in any of the later games, it's just you're doing it for the sake of doing it. And you get the N7 in your quarters, but like, you know, since I'm doing this at the very end of the game, won't be able to enjoy it that much, you know? Oh well. So speaking of code 404, I wonder if anyone at any point in the game would just be like, Jesus. And I'd just be like, nope, but we both came back from the dead. <laughs> oh, this is the garage. And that's Ashley. Just three more. 
I'm going to put it on the command bridge. Stop telling me to put monuments everywhere. I may be wrong, and you can place monuments all over this place. The SR-1 Normandy. A fine ship. But you know, I've got a bigger bedroom and a nicer bed, so... You know, the game's the game. Oh, these last two are going to be a pain in the ass to find, aren't they? What ones am I missing? That's a very good question. What ones am I missing? Hello, the N7 helmet. Maybe there's a dog bag there too. It doesn't show up in Mass Effect 3, unfortunately, the helmet. It's only in your quarters for Mass Effect 2, and that's that. But to be honest, kind of sucks. I do wish. The only thing the DLCs carry over into the private quarters are the model ships, so... And even then, it's just the Shadow Broker ship that will just carry over. So it's just one measly thing. Where the fuck is this last one? Oh. Nearly found it. I haven't found the flashback for Caden and Lenko. There should be a flashback for Caden, so... Where is it? I mean, I don't really need... Oh, hello! I'm pretty sure there's a flashback for Kay and Alenko. No, it looks like we're done. Let me just plant the monument over here. If it turns out you can place multiple monuments, I'm going to look so stupid. Which, I'll be honest, is not exactly a hard achievement. As that sentence just proved. Did he build that up himself? Where did he get that much gold? Where was he keeping it? Shepard, have you spent time in a Batarian prison? Oh, I think Zaid will have like a word with you. Has it been moved? It has, hasn't it? Oh, so you still get the choice I've only just bothered with it once and fucked off. Oh my god, no. No. I'm stuck. I'm gonna have to do that all over again. What? What? I may not. I may not. Oh, I think it auto-saved. I think it auto-saved to the moment I got that last tag. Okay, but have, have I still got all 20 of them? I think I do. 
I hope I do. I hope I haven't just fought to myself royally. There you go. Okay. I think I'm done. Okay. Yeah. I must have. Because I was in that, that last spot. Put it away, Shepard. I was in that last spot when I got that last thing, so yeah, it must be. Stop it. Just, just in case. And I can't come back to this planet. Just in case I can't come back. And the families of all my... Yeah. Really? I got a gift shield upgrade? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, shut up. It would just be Admiral Hank saying, Good job, new son. Oh, I wish he would. Uh. I mean, I guess it's a bit late to upgrade things now. More than you got one last funny thing before you die. I mean, before we move on. Uh, you didn't. I didn't, I didn't say anything. Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Is he. Does he mean he's making a suggestion that the ocular nerves would be hard to dissolve, or is he saying that they all have the nerve thing, and that's... Whatever, I... whatever. And I'm just grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site, and we sent it out to the affected families, but finding those dog tags, you will provide peace of mind for a lot of people. Commander, I thank you on their behalf. You're welcome, on my behalf. I mean, I'll go chat the Legion one last time, but I don't think he has anything more to say after his, like, philosophical debate. Or maybe he does. I think he does, actually. I think he has one last thing. I think he just says, thank you, Shepard, for all your understanding. Or something along those lines. Legion, buddy, how's it going? You stretching? Wait, are you stretching? Oh, I think... If we wait long enough, he'll do the robot. Legion, I didn't know robots needed to stretch. Is it because of that gaping chest wound? I'm gonna wait like 15 more seconds to see if he does the robot. Ah, don't let me down, buddy, please. I really don't. I wanna see the chicken. I mean, I, I wanna see the robot. Shepard Commander. Fuck it. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. I have Fuck. To get back. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, maybe he doesn't have anything more to say. I'm gonna try quickly look it up. I'm certain. I'm pretty sure he says thank you for like all your understanding. The GEF values you or something. Plus, it's just another effort to see if he does the robot. Let's see. Come on, Legion, you know you can do it, bust a move! No. No. Okay. Sorry to bother you, Legion. I'm just gonna slowly walk away. Come on! Oh, whatever. 
Oh no. What's this area? Shut up. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. There's no one left to talk to now. Because I've done all the conversations. Uh well, all the conversations as far as they go without romance. So what level am I? A level 30 soldier, so that should carry some point bonuses when I get up to Mass Effect 3. Let's do that now. Enjoy the peace and quiet. Boom. Maybe this time I won't forget to upload it to YouTube because I got pretty far. And Mass Effect. I might even know. I'm. I think the furthest I got was Chunka. I remember doing Ranok, but I think I just. I think I just for, didn't bother with the streaming it. Yep, there we go. Step. Put your face. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the soldier. I know, I'm so basic, I know. I'm so vanilla, maybe... Maybe on my next playthrough. Like my own independent playthrough. Oh, oh sorry. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleet's immobilizing. God help us all. Ah, cocky little shit. Sorry, I'll shut up now. Just I couldn't keep that in. I hate this kid. Commander, you're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reavers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. You know we're not ready if it is then. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reavers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaver. Hell, you spoke to one that blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. 
When you blew up the Batarian relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. Actually, you look different. Did you get a haircut? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major. You hadn't heard? No, I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. Uh, yeah, like I said, I forgot to mention. During my... I kept Ashley alive in my Xbox One playthrough, but when I upgraded to PS5, I decided, you know what, fuck it, make one difference. Don't be completely vanilla every time you play this game. So yeah, now Caden's alive. You can actually romance him as male shepherd in this game, but I'm not going to. No matter how dreamy his eyes are. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I suppose I did. So it's, it's good to see you. Admiral. Come on. Do you know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. We heard from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy.
Shepard! Come on, get up. Here, take this. We've got to get moving. Where did that gun come from? Admiral Anderson, report it anyway. Major Alanko, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the normal. You'll have the content. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. Thank God, sprinting is just continuous instead of in first. Oh yeah, and you can do a little wall right now. It's farther than it looks. And a jump. They really on, say what you want about Mass Effect Andromeda, but like movement and traversal in that game and we'll is the best way. in the series. No, no, no argument, no doubt. It's not the bait. It is. Major, you read me. Is using the jetpacks, biotics, just you know, yeah. Take them out. Shoot them. I'm out of ammo. Come on, we gotta move. You can just fire continues like this. But like the moment you get down these stairs, you're gonna run out of ammo, I think. Hi on. I need to fix this. There you go. Have to take these things out the old fashioned way. Or Where did you come from? Like that. It's weird the thing that that iconic Reaper roar doesn't make an appearance until this game. Gotta find a way out of here. It's like the one of the most iconic things about them. And it doesn't get introduced till like years after they get introduced. Well, the Reapers themselves get introduced. Watch it. I thought that was interesting to know. There's actually a theory that Shepard has been slowly being indoctrinated over the course of the three games and this sh little shit's the proof. Like, think how Anderson did not, like, turn his head when we heard this kid at all. And he has no questions like, yo, who are you talking to? And there's another thing. Let me just show you. That roar is meant to signify that indoctrination is has failed, sort of, and that they're angry about that. That was apparently revealed in a Mass Effect book about Cerberus. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try. You can't save them all. Exactly. It's so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <sighs> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. You 
sure about that? No, but you're a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Relax. And later on, when they're loading civilians up in the shuttle, on, no one tries to help the kid. And no one even, you know, seems to recognize that kid is there. Oh, he's a big one. Stop talking crazy. You're not even making sense. These are cannibals, they're basically, much like Tusk are basically Reaper Zombies of humans, cannibals are Reaper Zombies of Batarians. Like you can see their four eyes. Jeez, I tried to talk for like two seconds. Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. Do you have a radio? We tried to contact our ship. No, there's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. Come on. Let's get to that gunship. Man, what does the fucking gym routine look like in 2185 or whatever? Or 86, I forget which year. That's a harvester. I don't know what the reapified versions of. I guess. The dropper bug monsters from Chachanka and Mass Effect 2. Fuck off! I could just upload. You know what? No, I won't upgrade until I get the other two on Mars. Oh, now we're playing with firepower. There are a lot of changes between the dialogue between Ashley and Caden. Like, obviously, Ashley gets promoted to Lieutenant Commander, Caden gets promoted to Major, but like, most of their dialogue is kind of the same. They only have slight variations on it. But to be honest, I would prefer that it's majorly different, you know? So it's a bit more split in the personalities and, you know, a bit more interesting. Because no two people are going to say the same thing, right? It gives more incentive to save one over the other, other than just romance. And I guess whoever you like more, if you don't like racists. Let's go. Huh. 
Come aboard, Shepard. Thanks. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you. And I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. I still get misty eyed at that, to be honest. I cried during the first playthrough of it, but. What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? Hey! We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. We don't have a choice. Without help, this war's already over. Forget it. Drop you. Enough! Don't you think I'd rather stay and fight? We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker, that you? Catch it through. Shepard, insane heavy losses. The whole force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find his outpost on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. for the Mars Archives. Mars? Roger that. 
This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. No contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. Okay, I can get maybe FX calm, but apparently a storm on Mars is not really that intense compared to Earth because the atmosphere is a lot thinner. So let's just do this real quick. There's apparently a thing where like if you upgrade Garrus a certain way and you give him just the right items, he becomes God. Yeah, sure. Oh, box. Um. Yeah, fuck it. Three. Okay. Um. First of all, I'm just gonna upgrade this. Shit. Or you're a biotic, so that just makes more sense. Well, Jesus Christ, it costs 21 points just to fully up upgrade someone? Oh my god. Let's go... That. As for you, mm, we'll give you this. Okay, I, I go damage over anything else all day long, mate. Fun fact, James Vega is voice acted by Freddie Prince Jr., otherwise known as Fred from Scooby... Scooby Doo. And he's married to uh, the actress who plays uh, Daphne. Sarah Geller. Prince, I think they python. And they're still together, which is, you know, cute and all that. Actually, I need to check something. I'll be right back. I'm very sorry for the disturbance. It'll literally take me two minutes. If I can fix the wire. Oh my god. Two minutes. Thank you. 
Man, I just fucking hate it when people leave their videos halfway through, you know? Like it's... Yeah, I'm actually okay. I may be wrong. I may have to Google this later. Sergeant Reeves didn't put up a fight before he died. Something's not right here. Keep a low profile till we know what's going on. Roger. That. I also hate when I get cut off mid-sentence every five seconds. Implying a stealthy way to do this? There's no such thing as stealth in this game. I mean, there's... There's a somewhat stealthy bit in the Citadel DLC where you, like, you can take him out with a silenced pistol, but like... I've never been able to do it stealthily once. Like, I shoot someone and they just all instantly know. There you are. Hi, buddy. Those guys were Cerberus, weren't they? Sure looked like it. Cerberus, what are they doing here? Look out! I just messed up better than point dialogue. Basically, Caden is just like, you don't know what they're doing here? I was like, yo, what the like fuck? Why would I know? Yeah, just a few vehicles. Must have had help from the inside. You could be right. No way they can take this facility with anything less than a full battalion. Actually, I, am, I just forgot something. Uh... You can turn that off? Who, who bothers turning that off? Yeah, you can. You can leave your squad mate's helmets on, which I always do, but like, you're gonna have to lose your helmet in a little bit, and there's nothing I can do about it. I prefer having helmets on, because you know, they're soldiers. That's what they do. I find it weird you couldn't do that in Mass Effect 3. Have a question these! Or not. <laughs> Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. 
Hey, honey, how you been? I was so worried when the reports came in. I'm sorry about Earth. Yeah. Shep, sorry. That was my fault. Caden, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hackett ordered us to go. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here on Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. I've just realized I've turned subtitles off. Or left them off. Shit. Process of elimination. Mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my resources as a shadow broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you. Oh. I would have liked that. But under the circumstances, I think I can forgive you. You know I can't stay. You know I can't stay mad at you, honey. My work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers? Or... Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives. We've got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the shell. Cerberus beats us to the archives. I need you covering the exits. What? Now, Lieutenant. I hear them. We should take cover. Looks like they found us. Did he just call my boo a bitch? Oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die hard for that. There we go. I, I don't know if the other stuff is actually more worth it. I just like filling out the stats. Uh, pure biotic. Get that going. Uh, shit. Um, okay. Not a problem for someone with biotics. You can't hide forever. No, you cannot. Come on, poke your head out. There you go. That's all of them. Good. Let's find a way up. They've sabotaged the elevator. There's gotta be another way up. How'd Cerberus get into the facility? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubtful. But I suppose anything's possible. See, the thing is, server. Okay, it was clear that servers were bad people in both games, but like, at least in Mass Effect 2, they were like morally gray. I'm guessing like rewrites because the project director Casey Hudson left forced them to make like severe changes to them. Because, like, for most of Mass Effect 2, you can be like, yo, the Alliance left me for dead, fuck them. But then, like, in this game, you're just like, oh man, screw servers, I've, all, I've always fought servers for evil. 
so I'm guessing the original plan was you could be part of Cerberus in Mass Effect 3 if you wanted to. Shit. I didn't actually mean to pick that up, I meant to change the world out. Switch guns, you moron. Caden, you're using an assault rifle? This is when? Oh, sorry, honey. Storm's causing interference. I didn't read that. James. This airlock shouldn't be open. Doesn't look like it was forced open. I'm moving too fast. I've cut off conversations left, right, and center. <laughs> Nothing I really can upgrade besides frag grenade, and I don't want to do that just yet. Oh, I could upgrade fitness. Yeah, fuck it, yeah, let's do it. Mm. I can just leave it for now. Like, they're killing human beings. No. family for a second there. Come on. Come on. We need to pressurize the room first. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Hey, there's a recording of what happened here. Security station. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. Steak, they are. And there's just so much steak. <laughs> Fucking love steak. There's so much at stake. Think about my friends, loved ones. What I'd lose if I fail. Me too. Oh, look at those baby blues. Together. 
I believe you. Or I believe that you believe. Maybe that's enough. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. Okay, you're wearing your helmet, and you're wearing your mask thing. Shepard, don't do that. So you can mod your weapons with things you pick up. Like there should be one right here. These are one of the things you're meant to give Garrus. Like I saw a video where he upgrades Garrus in a certain way and he gives him certain materials and it apparently makes him God. I'm gonna have to look more closely into this, especially when I get Garrus. Kill okay, we'll Oh, uh, shield. I hate the shield, but you get achievement for shooting through that little gap. Male shot. Because I'm the best. Oh shit. Oh yeah, the return of classic manager of full health thing instead of just getting cover. Which I prefer. Mass Effect Andromeda does this weird thing where you pick up health instead of healing yourself. It, it works. I can't argue that it doesn't work, but... I... It's, some, it's something I initially didn't like, but like... I grew to accept it, you know. It, it works, I'll give it that. It kind of breaks the flow of combat, like a little bit, if you suddenly just stop and go rushing looking for it. So I guess it's... okay. God, what's that stench? They just activated the decontamination protocols. You just have to do this a very particular way. No. Personal notes, Esperanza. I hope I said that right. We haven't been able to decipher much, if any, of the language yet, but the visual documentation gives us some idea as to what they were studying. Namely, us. They seem particularly interested in early humanity's evolutionary proce process. Judging by the way they organized their files, highlighted specific occasions, it seemed a bit fantastic to write this, but everything indicates that they seem to be trying to chart the curve of humanity's intellectual progress. He's talking about the the Propheans. I wonder if we'll meet some Propheans in this game. And by some, I mean one. Oh, did I give it away too soon? See, much prefer just being able to continuously sprint. I mean, look at him go. He's a speed machine. I'm going to have to end this part in a couple of minutes because I'm doing a little personal task. Kaden, just know I'm the boss and I'll decide who moves up first. Wimp. I'll just eat the hat, you know, you can take it no problem. What the fuck was that? It just went off the completely wrong direction. The last location seems to have run dry, but judging by the communication system layout and the backup power supplies equipped by the first Prophean research base, we've discovered 
We think a secondary base may be located deeper underground, but we're going to need permission from the powers that need to be excavated further. But considering the recent renewal and enthusiasm for the work we're doing here, I don't think clearance will be an issue. Good for you. Caden, that won't be hard for me. What? Deck. The Major has become very capable. Agreed. Commander, I found something. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... My god. Looks like a husk. Yeah. Not quite. But they've definitely done something to him. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? Why? What you talking about, kid? I mean, they are cruel, like, genetic altering, like Miranda says that. So this is kind of in character for them. How can you compare me to him? Shepard, I don't know what you are or who. Not since Cerberus rebuilt you. For Facts. I know, you could be their puppet, controlled by the elusive man himself. That's not fair, kid. Don't try to explain it. I don't think I'd understand anyway. I just want to know, is the person that I followed to hell and back still in there? Somewhere? They didn't change me, kid. But words won't convince you, will they? Probably not. I didn't think so. You were all stubborn. <laughs> Me. Come on, let's see what Cerberus is up to. Maybe we'll both get some answers. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell have you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo Team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position, flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. I will. On it! Actually, you know what, Caden? You're not really much of a sniper, so you go here. I used to send Ashley up there all the time and just be like, Ashley, just stay up here, let the grown-ups do it. <laughs> I also... Okay. But all the jokes I would make about Ashley, I don't hate her, it's just, you know, she's not my favorite. If she's yours, you know, cool beans. But, you know, she's not mine. I think we all know who mine is. Right, boo? It's Legion! Wish you could roll as Legion. <laughs> Legion probably would have the nerves to end <laughs> And we know he's trying to experience love with that dating son. There's a funny little glitch I'm about to show you later. Well, not glitch, but error in animation. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop this here because... Yeah, you know, I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop this here because I'm a bit busy with other stuff, personal stuff, so... Very sorry about the sudden stop, but we'll continue this next time on Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Thank you for watching.